when an earthquake strikes, natural gas pipelines are damaged. The leaking gas ignites due to the spark of the electrical appliance and starts a fire. Ah, uh, what shall we do? Covering your nose and mouth with a wet towel can filter the smoke out of the air and reduce the intake of toxic gas. Check if the doorknob is hot before opening the door first. Do not, in case of fire, touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. Ah, it's burning hot! The door is burning hot! That means the fire is coming our way! Keep the door shut! When trapped indoors by fire, you should immediately call for help from balconies or windows. Help! Help! Do not call out for help for too long. Keep your strength up and wait for rescue. Touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. If the doorknob is not hot, then check if there's smoke in the corridor. If there's no smoke, evacuate as quickly as possible. Drag the injured and follow the direction indicated by the emergency exit to locate the exit. After an earthquake strikes or a fire breaks out, it's dangerous to take the elevator. Let's take the stairs. My arm was scalded. It hurts. I am coming to give first aid. Rinse with clean water to cool the wound. Cut off the clothing near the wound. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Okay, Kiki, thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down the stairs and can't move now. Don't move. I'll get medical help. We are professional doctors. You can leave the injured to us. First, transfer the injured to a long ridge board by using the whole body turnover method. Drag the fixing strap to secure the injured. We'll send you to a nearby hospital for treatment. Okay, thank you. When the earthquake struck, I fell down and got cut by the glass on the ground. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. First, go to an open and safe area to ask the doctor to give you further treatment. Let me help you clean up the wound. Apply from the center of the wound and move outward. Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. <laughs> it's still quite dangerous at the moment. Stay in the emergency shelter and don't run around. Okay, thank you. 
You're welcome. Let's search for the injured in need of help. Huh? Oh no! He seems to have got an electric shock. Let's get professional staff for help right away. When a power... Do you know what tools can be used to pick the power line? The iron rod can conduct electricity. Ne you are right. Dry wooden sticks can stop the flow of electricity. The on-site environment is safe. I have received professional first aid training. We can start the rescue now. What's the matter? What's the matter? Someone, help me! Please help me call the emergency number and get an automated external defibrillator, AED. Okay! If the chest doesn't rise for 5 to 10 seconds, it indicates that the injured has the cardiac arrest without breath. Start cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR immediately. First, unbutton the shirts of the injured. Fold your hands at the center of the chest, lower half of the breastbone. Press down firmly to carry out chest compressions. Perform 30 chest compressions. Open the airway. Then, perform two rescue breaths until the automated external defibrillator, AED. We've got the automated external defibrillator. Turn on the defibrillator and operate according to the voice prompt. The cardiac rhythm is being analyzed. Do not touch the patient. Please leave immediately. Tap on the electric shock button. Great! You are awake! Once the medical team is here, we will give you further treatment. Don't worry. <laughs>